Hi folks. Today's video is created in collaboration with Hunchback Music. Hunchback is a trailer music company with a very active YouTube channel with videos about trailer music, music composition, sound design, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, I would definitely recommend checking out their videos as well. And this uh, video of today will also be posted on their channel. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. And here we are in our project. I will start out with previewing the uh, patch that we are going to create today. All right, and without further ado, I will close this patch and open a new one. Here we are in a blank slate of face plan. Um, Today we are only going to use uh, granular modules for this. Um, this is a form of synthesis that's completely based on samples and um, we it's great for adding more variety to our, your sound and make it more lifelike, I would say. I will add the granular uh, patch and I will start out by adding the first sample I'm going to use for that. I will preview that sample right here. I put it here in my project and I'm going to add a sample of more sliding rocks. We want to create a low rumble in our sound at first. The sound that I will use is this. It has some nice uh, low textures to it and it's uh, all about sliding and I'm going to use that to create a sub for our sound. I'll load it in right here. And I will start out by previewing it. I'll boost the gain. And I will add more length to our samples. And put the grains a little bit down. I will make variations in the position. Turn grains up a little bit. Just like so. Uh, after that, I will create an LFO and I will select the sawtooth ramp up. I will use that to modulate a little bit of the start position of our uh, granulator or our, uh, yeah, our granulator module. Granular module, I would should, I should say. Um, I will add a little bit of attack as well here. With one and a half seconds and add a big release. After this, I will create a little bit more variation in the timing and in the pitch. I will put the pen at, let's say, 71% create more stereo information and I will create create a random generator I'll put that random generator on let's say 2.2 Hertz I will smoothen the data and I will use this as uh, only an additive module and I will use this for uh, randomizing some of the parameters that we have in our module here I will start with randomizing the grain envelope and some of the grains. I'll also randomize a little bit of the position. All right. To add a proper sub or to create a proper sub of this, we need to boost the load a little bit. And for that, I will add an instance of multipass. I'm sorry, I will add an instance of snap heap, I mean. Uh, in here, I am going to set this two lanes on parallel and turn the volume down because I only want to hear the first one at first. I will create a low pass here create a distortion 
and to set it on saturate and boost it quite a bit. I'm also going to pitch the sample with, let's say, 12 semitones. Back into Snap Heap, I'm going to really only use the lows here. Add a disperser and a limiter where I boost the input. After that, I will add a filter on the other uh, bus that's parallel here, and I will slowly, I will make a high pass, and I will slowly open the gain here. This as well can use a little bit of distortion, and I will put this on saturate, turn it a little bit down, mix of 779. That should be good for now. After this, I will create another module, and this is going to be a granular uh, generator as well. I'll put the attack similar to the uh, other one, so let's say at around 1.6 and 3 seconds of release. And here I'm going to add another sample. This time it's going to be more about impact, um, rock impact. So for that, I used this sample. I will preview it here. So um, for this part, it's nice to have uh, an already designed impact sound of rocks, which I will have over here. I will create another uh, random generator for this and put it also around, let's say 1.9, smoothen it and let make it a little bit, bit less Gaelic. I will put it on additive as well and I will randomize here the uh, sample play position with it. Let's preview it. For this, I want to route it to another lane because I don't want to boost the lows as much as it did with the first one. So by, do, by routing it to lane two, it's separated from the process of the, uh, the first granular uh, generator that we created. And um, I will uh, route the second lane to the lane, or the first lane to lane three. Um, I will mute this for now so that we can only hear, uh, we will only hear our second generator. I will in increase the envelope size with quite a bit, as well as the grains. I will also add more stereo information by adding the pen. I will add a little bit of randomization to the position and to the pitch as well. I will also increase the randomization um, the speed of the randomizer that is going through the sample. And add a bit more of grains. It needs to be a continuous sound. That's what I'm going for. That's a gain here as well. Or boost again. And I'm now going to use uh, an other random generator, which I will put on a really low speed. Smoothness, smoothness as well. And this one is going to be additive and subtractive to the parameter that we are going to hook it up to and i will use it to randomize a little bit of the pitch not that much i would say like yeah 1.3 semitones in both directions i 
And I will also use it to randomize the grain envelope for a little bit. In our lane two, I will add a slice EQ. And in the slice EQ, I'm going to add a low pass and boost the highs a little bit. Now let's start to mix it with the other sound. It's quite nice, but I think our second um, generator or granular generator is a little bit too continuous. So I will turn down the volume with quite a bit and use one of the gen uh, random generators that we created to automate the uh, volume. Like so. All right. I will um, call the first generator rocks low and the second one rocks high. All right, we already create quite a bit of the um, rock uh, sounds that we need in our earthquake uh, generator. Um, the next thing that we are going to do is add some metal vibration sound effects. For that, I have this sound prepared, also just from a library. Um, and it's the sound of uh, some vibrating metal. This is going to be way more subtle compared, compared to the uh, previous samples. And for creating it, I'm just briefly going to mute these two generators. I'm going to create another granular and I'm going to select the sample. Here we are. Um, I will add a little bit of attack as well, comparable to the other ones. So about 1.6 to start with and about three seconds of release. And I'm going to use a new random generator. And this one is going to be additive as well. I put it on also a low uh, frequency and make it it can be cha as chaotic as we want. I will use it once more to make uh, generate variation in the start position or a sample, and I will smoothen the signal. And after that, I will um, preview it. Increase the grain size one second and increase the grains. I will also um, add a little bit of pitch variation, stereo information by adding the pen and randomize the position. I'm going to use the um, second uh, the the other slow random generator or modulator I should say to automate the volume of the gain here and I will send it also to uh, this time to lane uh, 3 I mix it in with the other sounds, turn the other ones on. And as you can hear at this point, it's not quite going through the mix here. And because we're making quite an intense sound, um, I'm going to add uh, some distortion on our metal uh, sound. Let's preview it. Uh, 
that sounds all right. I also want to do the same thing as we did here, um, but then this time with a little bit of high pitched squeaks. For this, I prepared another sound and this time it's a uh, more high pitched squeak squeaking of metal. And um, to quickly do this, I'm just going to copy this uh, generator by holding Alt, sorry, Control, <laughs> and I will call it Metal Quick. I don't know if I, if I pronounce it correctly. Um, and I will select that sound here in my user sound effects library. We already have the randomization of the previous um, uh, uh, the random or the previous granular generator um, but this time I just want to automate the gain with the other random generator so I'll use this one for this so that we have a little bit more variation there it's a little bit too high pitched for my liking so uh, I'm going to add um, before the um, uh, distortion i'm going to add a filter which is only cutting off the really high end here i'm also going to turn down the grains by quite a bit Decrease, decrease the uh, random pitch here a little bit. I'm tune, tuning it down also a little bit. So that it will mix a little bit better um, with the other sound effects. After this, I'm um, going to create another um, granular, and I'm going to do that by copying our previous uh, granular generator, J just to add some debris sound effects here. Uh, for this, I used some debris sound effects from a library. It's over here. It's just some debris um, being thrown around. And I'll use that in this uh, generator. Um, I'm going to remove the filter here and put the drive a little bit down and see how that sounds. Not really audible yet and i think it can also use uh even more randomization on the volume part of things we need a really um slow randomizer for this so i will create a randomizer like yeah around 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 one hertz that's perfect smoothen it and make it a little bit less chaotic um, make it only additive as well so that we have control of the gain put it on here Tries to drive quite a bit. I will also route it to lane two. Um, I'm also going to randomize um, the grain size here, or the uh, yeah the grain envelope. And I use one of the other generators, the random generators, to modulate the, uh, sorry, the uh, grain itself. I 
think we're almost there. Um, this time I'm going to add one more uh, debris sound effects, this time for more glass related sounds. I'm going to use this sample of breaking glass for it. And that's basically for adding just a little bit more variation to our uh, sound. Um, I'm going to replace that with sound effect. I just made a copy of our previous debris generator and I'm going to um, remove the random generator here and just add a little bit of uh, the ramp down um, modulator. I'm going to increase the grain size. That's something that we can also do in the debris generator. To gain down a little bit on the other debris generator. And with the glass sound effects, hmm, I think uh, we, we are better off by lowering the grain size actually. 1.9. Make it a little bit softer as well. Um, all right, now we are going to look into the, the mix a little bit more, and I will do that by adding a three band EQ and just boost the low end of our rocks low. I will do the same thing for our high rocks at the three band EQ, and I'll boost the highs a little bit. After that, I will add. Um, a compressor over here and I'll take the dynamics for this just do it like this um, I'm going to turn this a little bit down increase the out gain and I will add a limiter just to be sure All right, well, now our whole sound is generated and our whole patch is almost ready. The only thing that we need to do if is, is add some macro controls so that we can easily mix our sound. We can do that by adding the first macro and we just add it to the gain. The gain here is set to almost zero dB. So we're going to put it all the way down, take macro one, put it over here, increase it until we match that zero dB. Um, on the gain. I'll put it all the way open. I will call this rocks low. Going to do the same thing for uh, rocks high. This time it's a little bit more interesting because we have a random generator that's modulating the gain here. So um, what I'm going to do is add macro 2 as a module as a um, uh, automation of our uh, the amount that this random generator is modulating our gain by adding this like this. If we put it open, then it's going to modulate it more. Um, the, uh, the, the base value of our gain here is minus, let's say, 10 dB. So I'm going to put this all the way down and increase or uh, automate the volume until it matches minus 10 dB, which you can see there in blue. And this way, if we open up the macro it's more, it's modulating the gain more and it's also increasing the gain. I will call this rock high. And I'm going to do similar things for all the other um, granular, granular generators. So in this case, we have some gain and I will modulate the, or uh, automate the modulator, see what the base instance is, is minus 21, put it all the way down put on the gain here and match minus 21. And I will call this metal vibration. I'll go to the next generator and I will do the same thing.
It's also minus 21. Put it all the way down. And match the volume. Then again for the debris. Minus 24. Call it debris 1. And eventually also do that for... Sorry, debris 1. And eventually also do that for debris 2. Minus 24 as well. And there we are. And if I press this, if I play the sound now, it should sound exactly the same, but we can mix it along the way. And there you have it. That's uh, the basic patch for um, an earthquake generator. One additional thing that you could do is adding a convolver, load in, for example, the art museum, put the mix all the way down and modulate or automate it with your uh, with one of your open macros. And by doing that, you can add a little bit of um, reverb and place it in a room. You can also do that in post-processing. It will sound like this. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it uh, and I hope to see you next time.